Graxpert 3.0 was just released and it made quite a splash. Beside a new, much better UI, the big thing is it now supports denoising and to be quite specific, AI denoising. So how can you install Graxpert? How can you use the denoising? How can you use it from PixInsight? I'll show you a new process. And finally the question, how good is it? And how is it compared to Noise Exterminator? All of these questions right after the trailer. Hey, this is View Into Space. I'm Sascha from Switzerland. So great to meet you and thanks for watching my channel. So I think I said already everything in the trailer. So let's hop now right on my computer and let's have a look. So welcome to my computer. So I want to go with you through everything from the start. And it starts obviously with installing the new version of Graxpert. For that we go to the homepage graxpert.com. Here you choose your version, Windows, Mac OS with an M chip, Mac OS with an Intel chip or Linux. For me it's Mac OS and it just throws it in the download folder. And from there, as usual with the Mac, you just throw the Graxpert in the application folder. You can replace the old version and that's done. So as always in such cases, you get some warnings, be it now on a Mac and I'm sure also with Windows. On the Mac, you click OK. Then you go to settings and privacy security, scroll down. And here you see now Graxpert was blocked from use because it's not an identified developer. You say open anyway and Graxpert will open. So as you can already see, the UI was changed and is now much, much cleaner. We have up here now a workflow from loading the image to saving. It reminds me a little bit to AstroPixel processor where you also have these tabs where you go one, after the other. So that's really nice, very clean. Everything which relates to stretching is now in the lower part here. So I took now here a pick intentionally again, something not really nice, but let's see, it's very noisy. It's, um, there's definitely a gradient in there. Let's see what Gregsburg can do with it, right? So the cool part is now, you know, we had this problem with Gregsburg that it could not really work with the stretching artifacts. So we had first to crop it. And now the crop is actually here nicely included. I go on a plus and apply here the crop. So I intentionally crop now a lot. So to be sure that no stacking artifacts are there anymore. I don't want to be unfair here. So apply crop, nice. With that, we can go to the next, to so the background extraction. We leave it on AI. We leave the smoothing on default and we just say calculate background. And as you can see now in the first time when I do it, it says selected background extraction AI model is not installed. Should I download it now? I say yes. And that only happens the first time. And so it has done it. It has removed the background. We can actually check it here, background. That's how it looks like. So it's just a slight gradient actually. That was the original and that is the corrected one. Yes, now it's very nicely visible how we removed the background. Okay, so far so good, but also so far we we know it, <laughs> but now comes the denoising. So given that it's <laughs> horrifically noisy, we could actually up this a little bit. So let's say to 0.8, denoise image. Now again, it says no denoising AI model. Please select one from the advanced panel on the right. So we have to go here to the advanced panel. And here we have to choose now the AI model. So 1.0.0. So that should be okay now. So let's try it again. Denoise image. Now it has to download it first. Again, that should only happen the first time. And so now it does the denoising that seems to take quite some time. And while we're waiting, just saying I just adored my <laughs> eggy stars here. It's sometimes always great to see where we start and where we, where we are right now. So, okay, and it's done. So what I can tell you is that it took quite a while. I would say it's substantially, that's about three to four times as long as Noise Exterminator takes on my computer at least. And we will do this detailed comparison later. But I also have to say, compared to the extreme noise, 
when I look now at it, it's quite amazing. Again, here before and here denoised. That's substantial and it looks really natural. So next we will look at it, how we can do it within Pixide itself. That's also possible. But before we go, just to sum it up again. First of all, really like the improvement in the UI of Cracksford. Really cleaned up, really logical, really nice. I like the result. Absolutely amazing. The gradient removal, but also the denoising looks really fantastic. The only downside is the length it has to denoise, which is compared to Noise Exterminator quite longer. And by the way, there's something else which speaks against using the application and not PixInside. And that's it. We would have to confirm that. That it's probably not a wise choice to do the denoising before you do Blur Exterminator and potentially even SPCC. The denoising might destroy things which are needed for these two processes. So we actually need to separate that. And then it will be even extra annoying going twice within this application. And so from, from that point of view, let's now look at how to do that in PixInside. So welcome to PixInside. So obviously we still have Toolbox, but Toolbox is not yet adjusted for the denoising. So we try now a different process actually, not script. For that we go to Updates, Manage Repositories, Add, and I will put that link in the description below. You say OK, you say OK here. Now you go again, Resources, Updates, check for updates. It will find it. You say apply and we have to restart PixInside. And I just take the exact same ugly pick as before. So we're also doing the dynamic crop. And now we're going to this process, which is called Graxpert. Here it is. And so here you can see we have the background extraction, but let's now change to denoising. So let's assume we would have done Blur Exterminator SPCC. And now we want to do the denoising. Strength, let's go again like before to about 0.8 and we throw that on here. And it's the same experience as before. It felt like an eternity, but the result is quite amazing. So already here now, I think that's it. It is very obvious. And if we're now zooming in, I mean, this is, this is really, really nice how it denoises. I couldn't resist and let noise exterminator over it. <laughs> so, so when we look now at the no denoised picture of Gregsbert and noise exterminator here, first of all, noise exterminator was about, I think, 40 times, 50 times faster. It was really, it was like nothing compared to the Gregsbert denoise. Um, and on the other side, when I look now at these two picture, in comparison, um, it's still, it's like day and night. This is 10 times smoother than the Gregsbert version. But then again, Noise Exterminator costs quite a lot. So from that point, my final assessment of, these, of this first initial test with one picture at the day it got released, we just have to put this in, in these, these brackets, is that I would say, for people who don't have Noise Exterminator, that's quite an amazing gift, given that it's for free, that Frank and his team has actually done to the Astro community. And generally for people who do not have PixInsight, the gradient removal of Gregsbert, it's extremely easy, it's quite powerful, and compared now with the denoising, it's an amazing package. That all said, for people who have PixInsight, who have Noise Exterminator, given we have now the gradient correction, I still feel it's, it's not that relevant anymore, quite honestly. But again, PixInsight and Noise Exterminator are quite expensive tools, quite complex tools. And so having something outside 
having an alternative which is quite powerful, which is free and which is very easy to use is, um, is quite amazing. So I do not want to reduce the, the work that Frank and his team has done in the slightest. I think he, they really deserve a big thank you. But on the other side, it's also important for Pixinside user, for noise exterminator user, to put it in the right um, relation. And then also, this is just the start. <laughs> this is just the initial release and it can still improve. So we'll see where it's going. And I'm, I'm excited to see where Gragsbird is going. It's slowly growing to a full processing suite um, if, they, if they proceed like that. And I think that's, that's quite amazing. So that was it already. I hope this breaking news update was interesting. If you want to belong always to the first to receive such news, please subscribe to my channel or even better, join my Patreon community where I will share this news always as soon as I hear it. See you next time and clear skies.